Gianna J here with some new Tom Ford Eye Quad. So of course I wanted to give you all my thoughts on these products as well as do looks with all three of the new quads that I have. As many of you all know, Tom Ford is my absolute favorite brand. So I heard that Tom Ford was going to be discontinuing some of his permanent quads and bringing out new quads. So I picked up a few that I saw and was able to grab. There's a few more that I'm still interested in, but for now let's go ahead and play with these. So I have two of Tom Ford's new regular eye quads. Quads. I have one in the color Daydream and I have one in the color Virgin Orchid and I was really excited to get my hands on these because from the pictures I could tell that these are formulated in the exact same way as one of my all-time favorite Tom Ford eye quads new dip. I love that formulation of his eyeshadows. I think that it's so smooth. They're very easy to work with. It's like that formulation of eyeshadow feels like a cream but it's like a powder hybrid and it's really smooth and Tom Ford also launched another new eye quad but this one is in a new formula and new packaging this one is the extreme eye quad or the extreme eye quad i'm willing to bet that it's the extreme but please excuse me if i'm butchering it now let's get into the details of each quad individually here's the packaging for the virgin orchid quad this quad comes in tom ford's sleek and sexy original packaging and here's the virgin orchid quad beautifully coordinated rosy mauve quad this one retails for $88 and it has 0.35 ounces or 9.9 .9 grams of product. And here are the colors from this beautifully rosy mauve quad. As you all can see, these colors really complement one another and they are beautiful to look at in this palette. So here are the swatches of this quad. And here's the eye look using this quad. So I already have my concealer on and set with my translucent powder that I used to set underneath my eye. I'm moving back into the Coco Mirage palette and taking my blending brush, I'm going to take this color. And I'm going to use this color as my transition color. So above my crease, I am going to buff this color back and forth. Moving to a more tapered blending brush, I'm now going to dip into the Virgin Orchid palette. So with this color, I'm going to deepen up the outer V of the lid. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that and apply it on the lid. And then just build this up until it's opaque. And with a flat shader brush, I'm going to take this light color. Tap off my brush and I'm going to take just a little bit of that right underneath the high arch of my brow. And taking that same color and same brush, let's pop that on the inner corner and blend it over. Same brush, and now I'm going to take this color and I'm going to pat that on the lid. Pretty and dainty. And let's make sure to blend that with all the colors that we already have applied. And lastly, I'm going to take this color and I am going to pat that in the area that I left blank. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and finish off the look. So I'm gonna take this applicator that came with it and take this light color. I'm gonna apply that right on the inner corners. And then along the rest of the way, I'm gonna take this deeper color. Carefully smudge that on the lower lash line. And here's the finished eye look. And here's the Daydream palette is housed in the traditional Tom Ford packaging again. This palette is so pretty. It's very bohemian. I love the tones of purple. This quad also retails for $88 and there's also 0.35 ounces of products or 9.9 .9 grams of products. So here are the swatches of this quad. Here's the eye look using this quad. So I'm going to start off with the fluffy brush in this color from the Coco Mirage quad. And I'm going to take this color and set all over my concealer. So let's take the same fluffy brush in this color from the Daydream palette. And let's take this color and apply it in the crease. And same brush and let's take this color and let's move down just a hair and let's apply this directly in the crease careful not to cover up that other purple shade too much we're just going to be taking this color right where that other color ends creating a gradient effect switching to the flat shader brush let's take this color and let's apply that on the inner corner and blend it all the way over to about halfway on the lid and then just build this color up until it's fully opaque 
and same brush and let's take this color on the rest of the lid and I am just going to tap this on and build it up super pretty color and I'm gonna take a tapered blending brush this is a MAC 221 and go back with this darker color so I'm just going to go back over that blue pretty concentrated right in the crease but it's still a really soft color so it's not going to be just super opaque so I'm gonna clean it up and I'll be right back same brush and let's go in with this lighter color and I'm gonna take this on the inner corner here and then let's take this color and let's pop that on the outer corner and here's the finished eye look. And lastly, I have an Extreme Quad. This one is in the color Frost Fire. As you all can see, the packaging is platinum silver or mirrored. This quad actually comes with a great slip cover. Look how beautiful this packaging is. It is mirrored. You all can see my camera. Here's the Frost Fire Quad in the Extreme lineup. This is exclusive to Sephora and is the limited edition. This quad retails for $92 and there's 0.27 ounces of product or 7.8 grams of product. All of the colors in this quad are glitters. So here are the swatches of this quad. And here's the eye look using this quad. So I'm going to start off with the Coco Mirage palette. I'm going to mix these two colors together. So I am going to take these two colors in my crease. And this is going to be my transition color. Now going in with the Frost Fire Quad. I'm going to take a flat shader brush in this top color. I'm going to take this color right on the inner corner and blend it over. And I'm going to pack this color on until it's opaque. Super pretty iridescent opalescent color. Already this looking so pretty. So same brush and let's take this color. And I'm going to pat that right next to this color and then tap it to blend it. And pack that on as well. Same brush and I'm going to take this color. I'm going to tap that right on the edge as well. I actually want to go over that grayish color. I feel like this color will blend a little bit better. And again, let's take this brush and this color. I am going to apply that on the outer corner. Pretty, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's finish the look. Back with this brush and this color. Let's put that on the inner corner on the bottom. And let's take this color along the rest with the same brush. Here's the final look using the Frost Fire Quad. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Overall, I like all of the quads that I purchased from Tom Ford. I'm excited to see his brand go in a direction where everybody is starting to know Tom Ford. And Tom Ford is getting more recognition because as you all know, it's my favorite brand. Each quad is different and each quad is going to bring something different to the table. The Virgin Orchid Quad is beautiful for every day. I think that this will actually be a really pretty date night quad. Or I think this quad would even be pretty as a bridal quad just because of how soft and feminine it is. All of the colors showed up beautifully and I love the formulation of this quad. I feel like it was very smooth, very easy to work with and it blended really nicely. I think that this quad was the most cohesive. I reached out and used another color for my transition but aside from that this quad stands on its own and I feel like it had everything that I needed for lid colors and for crease colors. The Daydream palette again was very smoothly formulated. I like how soft it was and it was really pretty and feminine. It reminds me of like a butterfly or something ethereal so I like it. If you want a softer variation of like a purple eyeshadow palette, something that's really easy to work with, then I think you may enjoy this quad. This will be something that I will pull out if I wanted a specified look. It's just not going to be like a go-to quad. And the Extreme Quad was the most out there in terms of colors and the finishes. All of the colors in this quad are glitter shades so they're going to have that fun element to them but if you're looking for really pretty glitter colors and you like cool toned purple toned type colors and I like this quad. This color in the top left corner is a topper shade. So just know that you're gonna have to spend some time building it up or just be okay with wearing it sheer. This color was not that pigmented to me. I tried to build up this color but overall it just was pretty sheer and I didn't really like it. But I do like the other three in this quad. Of these three new quads that I picked up, my favorite one is definitely Virgin Orchid. 
I feel like Virgin Orchid is the easiest to use. It's a color combination that'll work for a lot of different looks. And then I like these two equally, even though I don't really think that either one are must-haves at this point in your collection. You probably already have colors that are similar, but if you don't and you're looking for new colors and you want colors that are of quality, then of course I would tell you to get these quads because they are nice. So I'm happy to have them in my collection. Let me know what you all think about them down in the comments section. And if you have not already, make sure you like, make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you all in my very next video. Smooches. Bye.